So, Paul, what's, well, centre drive life, what's going on here? Well, I think this is a great example of automation in a, in a turning environment. And what we've got here is, um, we'll go up, up the line in a minute, but here's the first operation, which is op 10. Um, and right, I'm going to stop you there. Engineers, first stop is op 10, so why isn't it just first stop? It is the first stop, op 1, op 10, but it's just a, a way of... This is the reason I'll get confused. Terminology, you terminology used. So this is op 10, and essentially what you've got here, what's different about this, um, here in seeing this in Taiwan is the fact that you've got this uh, two spindles here which is driven by one motor in the center you've got a turret machining each side of this shaft which is the demonstration so you center drilling turning the outside diameters but then it then then comes into the automation in play it takes the part out and it moves it on to op 2 or op, op 20 two. But, but the beauty of this is you've obviously got one, one motor driving two spindles, two operations being done at once okay, here. So twin spindle, twin turret, two ops at the same time, yeah, two but one, one, only one motor. So, yeah. and a great example of the automation in the background here. The, the automation is then, uh, it's picking the shaft up and it's moving it to here. And then what happens is the shafts are obviously uh, laid on these conveyors. This robot will come along and pick the shafts up and move them up to here where you're then doing op 20 so op 20 is now you've got you've now got two parts you've got one either side again you've got the central motor which is uh, e e each component is being turned independently but it means you're getting two parts at once off of this machine okay. which which is you know making you more efficient but it's not just making you more efficient it's the unmanned nature of this cell uh, is the application right for this cell? Well, it is actually. It's, it's a turn shaft, uh, but you can see all the automation I I involved in it. If you're a manufacturer doing lots of the same components, then this is a type of solution that we're seeing here.